What's up guys? Welcome to Cartagena. Here on the Caribbean coast of Colombia, Cartagena is a beautiful city, well known for being extremely touristy uh, and extremely upscale in some parts and also extremely historic in others. So it's truly a city of contrasts and I'm staying in the Getsmani district right now, which is sort of, uh, sort of like a mix of history and uh, sort of trendy. Sorry about the bus there. Uh, so it's a really cool spot. It's close to the uh, walled city as well too, so you can see all of the historic center in about 10 minutes walking, something like that. Anyway, today it's my first video from Cartagena, so I thought what better way to introduce you to this city than to show you a beautiful view from above and uh, you can see the sunset and all of the city from up here. So I'm really excited to do this. Um, I had a friend in Santa Marta, he's actually from Sweden, recommend this place to me. And it's a viewpoint from the rooftop of a hotel actually. Um, but the catch here is that we're not actually supposed to go up there. So it's not like a developed rooftop or something like that with like a bar uh, and like a, a viewing platform. It's actually up like an emergency exit <laughs> and just like an industrial rooftop. So the plan for today is to sneak through the hotel up to the rooftop and uh, try to get a view there. So wish me luck. I have no idea if it's going to work or not. Uh, my friend said it was quite easy, but uh, you never know. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I'm just going to go grab a beer and uh, then we'll head over there. So along the way, I'll show you some of the cool streets here as well. Uh, just up here is the wall to the old city. And uh, yeah, you got these beautiful statues and the water over here, you got the harbor. Truly amazing. I love this city. A lot of people say that uh, it's not very good or it's too touristy or all that kind of stuff, but it's not true. I love it here. It's so, so cool. All right, so I got a bit of a late start. So I'm kind of rushing over there. So I'm not doing as much filming as I'd like to. Uh, around the city, but uh, I'm gonna do a full video uh, Showing all of my favorite areas of Cartagena anyways, so you guys will uh, have to stay tuned to see more of the city for that one I uh, still haven't found a beer yet, but I'm quite certain I'll be able to find one by the time I get there uh, Shouldn't be difficult at all. There's beer everywhere In Colombia and especially in Cartagena you can buy it off of people on the streets for a little bit more uh, Or there's always shops selling it and actually right here you can see the walls of the old city. Very cool. Cartagena was a very important uh, Spanish trading city uh, during like the colonial times. So they built this wall as well as like uh, a castle slash fort uh, to protect the port from people invading because uh, they did a lot of trading in this area. So there's your one little bit of information for this video. So I can honestly say once I arrive at the hotel, I have absolutely no idea what my plan is. I have no strategy. Um, I've never really done anything like this before. Um, I have obviously gone to like areas that I'm not supposed to go, but that's usually in nature. And that's a lot easier to pull off because you just sneak in through like some trees or like when people aren't looking or stuff like that. That's much easier than walking straight through like a hotel lobby and all that kind of stuff so I really don't know what to expect I don't have a plan and I can already tell that this is gonna be another one of those videos that my family hates uh, so hi guys <laughs> I'll be fine don't worry all right so I got a couple beers Just went into a supermarket there unfortunately they're Aguilas but you can't really complain when it's a dollar and a half for two beers uh, and then you got the ocean right over here the Caribbean Sea So I guess at the very, very least, if I get kicked out, uh, I can come back over here and watch the sunset. I'm also thinking that this time, uh, I can actually use COVID to my advantage as well. Um, and I'll wear my mask when I go in, uh, just for a little extra stealth, you know? <laughs> Absolutely unnecessary, but I'm gonna play this up as much as possible for the video, right?
Alright guys, I made it in. Uh, I don't think there's any signs of what this place is in the elevator, so I'm going up to the 24th, and then I have to take like an emergency exit. So uh, yeah, we'll see what's up. Looks like we're here. Quite easy actually he wasn't joking when he said it was easy as hitting the 24th floor going up and finding that uh, little emergency exit door and it's just like a little industrial sort of thing here uh, probably like the heating and air conditioning and whatever but this is stunning you can literally see all of Cartagena from up here all right so not gonna lie my fear of heights is actually getting me a little bit right now which is surprising because it normally doesn't in uh, these kind of places but uh, all the more reason to break open the Aguila. Take the mask off now as well too. Anyways, let's break it open. <laughs> I got no other words for it. My uh, my sort of like vertigo fear of heights thing is going down a little bit too, so that's great. Oh wow! Cheers to you, Sweden. I'm sorry I forgot your name. I'll make sure I put it below. It's a great suggestion. This is definitely one of the coolest things I've done in a long time. Uh, not only the adrenaline of kind of you know, doing something that you're not really supposed to do. Uh, that's always a lot of fun. Uh, even though it's not really that big of a deal, honestly. I mean, if somebody was to come, they'd probably just tell me I wasn't allowed to be here. I'd say sorry and I would leave. So realistically, like I said, I want to play it up for the video a little bit, but uh, it is kind of, you know, it gets the adrenaline going, it's fun. Uh, and then obviously with the views around here, I mean, you can't beat that. Um, but uh, yeah, on a bit of a real note, I mean, Life's been a bit tough recently, you know, going through things in my personal life that uh, obviously you guys don't hear about and that I don't really share in general. Um, but, you know, when you have moments like these, uh, just like moments of peace and uh, beauty with views like this and uh, everything, you just really appreciate the life that you have and, uh, you know, how lucky I am to be able to do this kind of stuff and how much I truly love doing stuff like this. Uh, traveling and uh, meeting different people, seeing different things, and uh, discovering small places like this, um, and just finding those little moments that uh, you'd never have anywhere else in the world. So, uh, yeah, truly grateful. And, uh, you know, despite anything that's going on, struggles and emotions, uh, all of that kind of stuff, you know, you try your best to be positive, you try your best to uh, be grateful and enjoy where you are. And uh, you just got to keep moving forward, keep uh, striving towards your goals, and uh, yeah, just keep doing yourself, you know. You just have to put in the effort, find out what it is that you want to do, and uh, you know, make an effort to achieve those goals, because uh, at the end of the day, that's what's going to make you happy. So uh, yeah, that's my little real moment. Um, I know a lot of the times in my videos, I don't really have moments like these, I'm a little bit... Uh, silly and I like to make fun and stuff like that and you know that's who I am but uh, you know it's good to to be real and to show your appreciation and uh, that kind of stuff as well too so I really appreciate everybody who watches these videos all of my friends and family who support me um, yeah I'm grateful so cheers to that hopefully you guys enjoyed this video 
Uh, I'm just going to take it easy. Uh, I'll probably run a time lapse here uh, in hopes that uh, maybe we get some nice colors in the sunset. The sun's already down uh, below the horizon, but we could still get uh, some nice colors. So yeah, I'm going to crack open the next beer because I did bring two and uh, why not have both? <laughs> And like I said, I'll run the time lapse and I'll come back to you guys when uh, I get back down. So thanks again for watching. Take care and uh, enjoy the views. final scan of the area amazing sunset incredible views of the city amazing now let's get ourselves out of here easy that was honestly <laughs> there's nobody in sight I'm not out yet though so I shouldn't uh, shouldn't say anything yet like that guys we are out so beautiful I can't believe how easy it was to literally walk in use the elevator no key card or anything necessary then straight up to the top floor and one simple little turn through like a maintenance door and you're there. Unbelievable. And luckily when I came back down, there were so many people like checking in or talking at the reception that uh, nobody even looked at me. So yeah, I would definitely call that one a success. Um, but yeah, this was, uh, a really good experience I really enjoyed it and now getting to walk along the Caribbean coast like this it's the perfect end to a perfect day so cool I haven't been in this area of Cartagena yet either uh, just because it's mostly like bigger hotels and stuff like that and uh, obviously there's nothing really exciting for me to see here um, except for that view so it was all totally worth it but uh, I'm gonna end the video there I hope you guys enjoyed something a little bit different and uh, I didn't get caught so there you go I'd call it a success um, anyways
stay tuned. I'm going to do a video uh, just uh, touring around my favorite parts of Cartagena. That should be next. Uh, and then we'll see what happens. So take care, guys. See you in the next one.